We welcome you to Terre Haute, Indiana, the Valley on ESPN, the Holman Center, home of the Indiana State Sycamores, Larry Bird's house, taking on the Bradley Braves, the Missouri Valley Conference Game of the Week with Rick Savosic. I'm Tom Ackerman. We saw a good one here yesterday, 60-57. to 57. Indiana State won it in a nail-biter. In fact, look at the highlights. They were good. It was horrific end-to-end -end action, masked with a massive dunk. Bernice, very strong early, a three, a mid-range jumper. Bradley, Kevin Einan had an outstanding game with 17 points. Tyree Key, doing what you expect him to do, knocking down a three. Kobe Barnes, big on the glass yesterday. And how about the return of Deshaun Henry? He Eight can do three. just about anything, can he? And then, of course, Jake LaRavia, Mr. Everything for Indiana State. Eking out the win. And had the game winner with a minute left to go in the game. Jashon Henry, will he get a game winner today? Let's take a look at him. He's trying to regain his strength. One of the strongest players in the Missouri Valley Conference. 185-pound bench press is what they do in, in NBA combines. He does 21. The record is 28. And then how about the record for Tyreek Key? 11 points today will get him to 1,500 points. Had 12 points yesterday and eight big rebounds. Well, that was an absolute battle last night. I mean, a physical game. Brian Wardle's team can deliver that, but they got knocked around just as well. Back and forth they go. Brian Wardle knows all about it. Built this team from scratch. Fifth year at Bradley. Back-to-back -back Arch Madness champion. Trying to go for that three-peat this year. We'll One see. of only... Two teams that could pull it off. Not easy to do, but Wardle, as his team now has lost five in a row, needs a win today. Standing in their way, Grand Glancing and the Indiana State Sycamores. They have been terrific on this tear. They've won five in a row, six of their last seven. And in his 11th season as coach, all he's done is win. Second all-time in wins at Indiana State, 169 career wins for Greg Lansing and the Indiana State Sycamores. We are just about ready for tip-off. We'll give you the starting lineups and get you set for the Sycamores and the Braves. There's Bradley out with their white uniforms today. And on the other side, Indiana State. They'll be wearing the baby blue. Do you call that baby blue or powder blue, my friend? How do you, how do you say it? I would say powder blue. Baby blue, uh, bad like uh, blue? implication. Okay, I got you. Powder blue I'll go with. They look good. Coming out against his Bradley team, there's Elijah Childs. He got knocked around a little bit. I am curious what we see out of Elijah Childs today after eight points last night. They were tough on him. Four of eight shooting from the floor. Played 34 tough minutes. So here we go. The tip is underway, and it is Bradley basketball. Mast, who scored the first bucket last night, gets it to the guard. Nolan, who had a tough night scoring-wise, they go right to him, and Nolan comes up short with the shot. He did not score yesterday. No points for Nolan. Talk about a guy who really struggled. Starting an outstanding job. Starting lineups, presentation of Prairie Farms, dedicated farmers, happy cows, real milk. Larry, the freshman point guard with Key, Nice, LaRavia, and Williams. Back it in. There is the aforementioned LaRavia. They look to attack with him often, and there he is. Goes in on the right block and scores Jake LaRavia. He did that often yesterday, but they fouled him, and he struggled at the foul line, so it's good to see him finish one at the rim. Bradley coming at you with a 3-6 and six Valley record. Kingsby, no, and that one goes over the backboard. And it's Indiana State basketball. Our keys to the game. Sponsored by Candlewood Suites, the preferred hotel of the Missouri Valley Conference in Terre Haute. For Bradley, it's be quick, don't hurry. Swing the ball side to side, then look inside at Childs and transition D. You got to get back against this Indiana State team. And then Indiana State charity at home. They took 26 free throws yesterday, but only made 13. Going to have to do a better job of that today. But Attack the glass. That must continue. They had 14 offensive rebounds and took it right to Bradley. 
Huge key this afternoon. Coach Z's keys to the game, a production of the Candlewood Suites, the preferred hotel of Missouri Valley Conference here in Terre Haute. And in Terre Haute, Jake LaRavia goes in tough, can't get it. Childs tries to grab it from him. LaRavia takes it away, and they call a travel on Jake. So we've already seen, you can just tell, there's some aggression going on inside between those two, Childs and LaRavia. This is going to be a good old-fashioned Valley game, my friend, just like it was yesterday. Yeah, you're right about that. And for Bradley to get one on the road, they got to get Nolan untracked, get Childs untracked. But how about the backdoor pass from Mast? Danier Kingsby with the basket. So quick to the hole, and he gets that for a 2-2 game. Indiana State was up by 10 in the second half. Bradley came back. Took the lead, and then Indiana State emerged victorious. Look at the footwork by Williams, but too strong off the glass. And coming up with it is Childs. And that was the other thing was the rebounds yesterday in favor of Indiana State in the first half, 24 to 10. And that is atypical of a Bradley team. They normally do not get out rebounded. Ended but up minus 9, 39 30 for the game. There is Tyree Key and Cooper Neese, dangerous from the outside. Toss inside, can't be handled by Williams, but gets it back and scores. Trey Williams, Indiana State by two. Quickly down the floor, Bradley, but Kingsby lost control of it, but that ball is off of Key, and it'll stay Bradley basketball. The Braves fortunate to keep it. Possession of the basketball yesterday, 14 turnovers, which in Valley play or in Valley, excuse me, in losses, they averaged 15 or more in wins, only 10. So they must do a better job of taking care of the ball today. This one tossed to the baseline, but it goes off the hand of the Bradley player, Kingsby. So it's Indiana State basketball, Indiana State. With the same lineup as yesterday, Bradley made one change. East replacing the lineup by Jason Kent. And a whistle and a foul is called on the baseline. You know, Kent impeding the progress of Nice. And keep an eye on that call and see how officials treat it. Yesterday, they let it play. There was a lot of bumping in the bus. There's a lot of bumping on the perimeter. But they were consistent. So let's see how the officials do it today. I think there are a few ice packs handed out after the game yesterday. There's ah. Larry, who got that last rebound right in that exact same spot last night to secure the win for Indiana State. Nice with the drive. He scores. Cooper Nice makes it a 6-2 ball game. Nice, a prolific high school scorer. Those in the state of Indiana would know that well. Tavaninen had a big game yesterday with 17. Shot goes down for Child showing a little range. The expansion of the seniors game, able to knock down the 17-footer. Again, Childs with eight yesterday. I like these back-to-backs from a viewership standpoint. Good bucket there by LaRavia. It's just fun to see back-to-back -back games and two combatants like this. Oh, terrific recognition by Indiana State. You see the mismatch, LaRavia, a couple of inches on Henry. Top of nine and dangerous from there, but misses. And here comes Indiana State with a four-point lead already. Nice tries to float one inside, but Childs was right there for it. Kingsby for three. And Larry has it for Indiana State, the freshman. Good recognition by Larry. No numbers. Pull it out. Run the offense. Whistle in the middle of the floor, and they're pointing down at Laravia's leg. And it's a timeout on that note. With 15.28 to go in the first half, an 8-4 lead for Indiana State. I think the sketchy website I bought this turtle from stole all my info. Ooh. 
Have you looked on the bright side? <sighs> Discover never holds you responsible for unauthorized purchases on your card. <laughs> That's my turtle. <laughs> Fraud protection. Discover something brighter. Wasn't me, baby. No, it wasn't me, baby. Free two hour grocery delivery included with Prime. Back in Terre Haute, Indiana State, in a timeout, up 8 4. All eight points have been in the paint. Just two in the paint for Bradley with a shot from the outside for Childs being the lone perimeter bucket here today. It's an 8-4 Indiana State lead. What do you think so far? You can tell the point of emphasis for both coaches. Indiana State pounded inside, trying to wear Bradley out. Remember, now Bradley played on Thursday against Valparaiso before coming here. Meanwhile, Indiana State was off for the week, so you got to try and take advantage of on the back-to-backs, and you got a guy like Childs who played 43 minutes in the double overtime game against Valparaiso, 34 minutes last night. Push it inside, try and wear the big guys out. The Valley on ESPN is brought to you by State Farm. When you want the real deal like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. We are ready for Arch Madness, believe it or not, in a month. It's February 1st. It's and here. It's here already. It's here already. Before you know it, Arch Madness will be right in our face at Enterprise Center in downtown St. Louis. Can't wait for it. In the meantime, a lot of basketball to be played. How about Drake getting into the top 25 today? Number 25 in the AP poll. And if Loyola is able to win one tonight against Missouri State, you may see them in the poll next week. Boy, are they good. There's a Shot by Barnes, too strong. Childs will handle it up the floor. Just put a hurting on Missouri State last night, 72-46. Top of nine and open for three and hits. It's an 8-7 game. He can't be late on Top of nine. He gets his feet set. It's all over. That's what happened there. V. Lay, Top of nine. Barnes had a good first half for this Indiana State team yesterday. Coming off the bench. The second possession in a row that Bradley has shown a 3-2 matchup zone. Three ball. Drained by Cooper Nice. He greets the zone with a triple. 11-7 now. This Bradley team will play some zone, mostly man. Brian Wardle is a man-to-man -man type yes, of guy. <laughs> and he's loving the freshman Mast. Mast on the other end. Mast had a good game yesterday, and he's back scoring again. Rick Mast had 12 points and nine rebounds. He was one rebound shy of a double-double. Bayco, talk about a good game. Greg Lansing loved the way he looked off the bench yesterday. Confidence. Made some big shots. Look at this shot. Wow. Drained by <laughs> Tyree Key. Uh, the circus has come to Terre Haute. Key, as you mentioned in the beginning, climbing the charts, trying to get to that elusive 1,500. Tava Nainen hits the three, and Bradley gets within one again. you got to sell out against Tava Nainen. Even if he puts it on the floor, you're better off. What will Indiana State do to answer? A missed three by Key. Childs to Thomas, back to Childs. Elijah going up against Kobe Barnes. Still kept it in bounds. Impressive, but Henry came up short. Sean Henry had some big plays yesterday for this Bradley team. Thunderous dunk down the lane. Key draws defenders, kicks it out to Nice. He steps in after the shot fake. Oh, I know you love that, Coach. Ah, uh, get the defender up in the air. 
Tell him to go pick up his sneakers. 15-12, three-point lead, Indiana State. Try not to relinquish the lead. Bradley would love to be playing with a lead as that one got away from Mast. Indiana State ball by three, nearing the 12-minute mark. Cooper Neese. How do you beat a zone? Get in the slot. Exactly where Cooper Neese is. You two guys in harm's way. Bury the three. Excellent play by Cooper Neese. Neese on the bench now, getting a rest before this media timeout. Baycoat gets around Nolan or tries to cut off there. Entry pass to Williams. Trey in the lane. And a nice little one-handed shot of Trey Williams. The maturation of Trey Williams taking his time, doesn't get flustered. Williams comes out to guard Mast in the missed three, but an offensive rebound. We got Miller on top of nine, and look at the spin and the miss by Hannah. And now Baycoat for Indiana State, up by five. They find Williams, goes one-on-one -on -one with Mast again. This time kicks it out, he's fouled. So 11-16 to go, first half, and Indiana State holds on to a five-point lead on Bradley. What happens when you're fired from the world's biggest chocolate maker? If you're H.B. Reese, you invent a more popular chocolate in your old boss's backyard. See how your favorite foods got to your plate on the History Channel documentary series, The Food That Built America. Check your local listings. So far, I literally changed my life. When I refinanced with SoFi, that allowed me to pay off aggressively and save without breaking my back or breaking the bank. Tom, how about Dave Snell, the voice of Bradley basketball? If Bradley wins today, that'll be win number 1700. Oh, not for Dave Snell. It'll be for Bradley's program. But for Dave Snell, it'll be win number 1,302. That's a lot of games. That's an incredible number. I mean, that is a lot of games. And he's a good guy. And, of One course, of he and I have that connection of being Cardinals fans. But he is a terrific broadcaster, too. Really has done a great job for many, many years. Our Missouri Valley Conference standings, a presentation of Zervita. Dave would like to see Bradley a little higher there at three and six, but there's plenty of time. Indiana State, six and five. They're on the move. So Indiana State, winners of five in a row, six of their last seven, and they don't have to play Drake, Loyola, or Missouri State again. So the schedule helps them going down the stretch. But how about Drake and Loyola? I mean, you're looking at two teams who have at-large type resumes. There's no doubt in my mind it's a two-bid league. Uh, right now, those two teams are NCAA tournament teams. Now it's just a matter of formalizing it and getting them in there. They got a lot of basketball to go, and they need to play and show that they can. But the 25th ranked team in the nation, like you said, is the miss here by Indiana State's Williams, gets it back to Bradley. Loyola's got plenty of time to get into that same picture that Bradley's or that Drake is in. Bradley with a shot here, missed by Hannah. But keeping it alive, Bradley, and guess who? Elijah Childs, that shot is missed, and it's going to go back the other way. Five-point lead for the Sycamores on the Braves after the turnover. So far, 41% shooting for Bradley, 61% for Indiana State. Yeah, Bradley did not shoot the ball poorly yesterday, shot 52%. Two things that killed them, and it's number 14. They gave up 14 offensive rebounds, and they had 14 turnovers. Baycoat, shot clock winding down, and Childs with a big rebound. He's on a mission today. That's rebound number five for him. And Elijah Childs tries to get his own rebound. That one's tapped out of bounds. Off key, 
And it's going to be Bradley basketball. Now a wholesale change out there for both teams. It's just terrific effort by Elijah Childs. He can't get to it totally and grab it. But he can knock it off key. Gives the Braves another possession. That one was tipped barely into the hands of Childs. Now a whistle as chasing down and a foul is called. It's going to be on Cooper Nice. And for Nice, that's his first. And first foul of the game called on Indiana State. Two fouls on Kent in the early going for Bradley. Nolan to Childs, double team. LaRavia came over there and busted that up. Now the drive by Nolan, and an offensive foul is called on Nolan. He ran over Cooper Neese. Nolan called for the charge. Cooper Neese is going to play great team defense. He's going to leave his man, sacrifice his body for his teammates. Hey, when you have an offensive guy like Cooper Neese taking a charge, oh, that's contagious on the defensive end. It is a five-point lead for the Sycamores trying to build on that. Miller flips it over to Larry. They work it back over to Miller. He likes to shoot that. Tom and Einan tries to stay with him. Sweeps it over to LaRavia. Off the rim, but slammed home by Williams. And a foul is called. Trey Williams with a little thunder here in the first half. Once dribble penetration comes, everybody's in rotation. LaRavia misses it, and Williams, nobody boxes him out, flushes it home. Now Williams came to play six points for Trey Williams, second leading scorer on Indiana State. Nice has seven to lead the way. And the miss on the free throw. Seven point lead for the Sycamores. You're absolutely right about Trey Williams. Only had two points yesterday. Already tripling his output. That's how Nice has to close out. He got to make Tavanine and put it on the floor. Oh, throw right back to him. Oh. Childs picks it up and they bring it back out. Nolan, he's going to score eventually. Goes up and a blocking foul is called this time as Nolan stays aggressive and goes right to the basket. Foul called on Trey Williams. For Williams, that's his first, second team foul. So here's Terry Nolan Jr., the junior guard from Baltimore, trying to get on the board for the first time here at Terre Haute. It was held scoreless yesterday, and so far he's been unable to put the ball in the basket. You know, it's just a matter of time. He is a scorer. He is absolutely that, Tom. And has already hit some big shots and some big non-conference wins. Connects there and cuts the lead to six. Nine minutes to go, first half. Bradley shows a little full court pressure, trying to check and see if Indiana State will get sloppy, and they don't. Back into that 3-2 matchup zone. Hey, leave it all out there. You're not going to see these guys again until <laughs> Arch Madness, maybe, right? Do what you got to do. Shake it up, change it up. Nice. And LaRavia came up short there. Here comes Bradley Kingsby. Hard to stop, but LaRavia finds a way. Long three missed by Nolan. And Indiana State gets the ball back. Six-point lead, 825 here first half. Sycamores bring entire key back into the game. He, one of the great scorers, top 10 scorer in Indiana State history. They'll try to find a way, looking at him running around inside in the lane, trying to get open and create some offense. This Indiana State team has done a good job of that through the years over Greg Lansing's tenure. Trey Williams inside, can't get the roll. And they go back on defense as the rebound comes to Bradley. Now Kingsby, guarded by Nice. Williams pops out. And down they go, and it's going to go back the other way. It'll be Indiana State basketball when we come back. 19-13. 
is the Sycamore lead at the Holman Center in Terre Haute. Glad you're with us for the Valley on ESPN. A migraine hope from Amavig to show up for the sweet, the hectic, the tender, the tense, and the fiery. But for many, migraine keeps them from saying, I am here. We aim to change that with Amavig, a preventive treatment for migraine in adults. One dose once a month is proven to reduce monthly migraine days, for some by half or more. Don't take Amavig if you're allergic to it. Allergic reactions like rash or swelling can happen hours to days after use. Severe constipation can happen, sometimes with serious complications. High blood pressure can happen or worsen with Amavig. Common side effects include injection site reactions and constipation. It doesn't matter what each day brings, so long as you can say, I am here. Aim to be there more. Talk to your doctor about Amavig. Indiana State on a 6-1 run over the last 544. Here's your scholar athlete of the game, MVC State Farm scholar athlete of the game. Indiana State volleyball player Melina Tedro, a junior libero from Quincy, Illinois. Tedro has a 3.80 cumulative GPA in business, a 2019 first team MVC scholar athlete choice. When you want the real deal, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Congratulations to Melina Tedro, the State Farm MVC Scholar Athlete of the Game. And, Tom, there are things that don't show up on this stat sheet. And one of them is boxing out. Watch Cooper Nice. He boxes Henry out so he can't get the rebound. It goes out of bounds. Cooper Nice, who has seven points, he's already taken a charge. He should get a rebound on that one. It's just good basketball right there. That's what teams, when they're on a five-game winning streak, that's what teams do. They do the little things. It's not always in the box score. All right, that 3-2 matchup. you got to find guys in the slots out front, see if Nice can get to a slot. Laravia tries to cut in. Miller. Looks at Key on right wing, gives it to LaRavia. Here we go, LaRavia on mass, no, tipped into the hands of Childs. Bradley holds, has to make up six points. Drive inside, Henry, tough two, no, and the rebound by Williams. It's back to Indiana State with a six-point advantage, seven minutes to go. Changing defenses again out of the dead ball zone, out of the missed shot, back to man. Whistle on a travel is called. Indiana State turnover back to Bradley. Nice comes out of the game. Julian Larry back in, the freshman, for Indiana State. Tavaninen checks in for Bradley. They have Miller guarding him. Key matchup here with Bradley looking for points. Down six. There is Tavaninen. Miller right on top of him. Now they double Tavaninen. Childs against LaRavia. Mast for three. Hits it. Rank Mast. Knocks down a triple. Tom, have you ever seen a European guy that can't step outside and knock down three? I don't believe I have, my friend. The mass delivers. They cut it down to three. A little more comfortable and right back. No. Rebound, Bradley. Bradley doing a much better job today of boxing out. One and done. Open, Henry for three. Off on that shot, but Childs pulls down another rebound. Elijah Short, Mast with an offensive board. He goes back up and scores. Mast with the bucket for Bradley to cut it to one. Mast with seven points. Key, Henry stays with him. 
Looks at Miller. He'll launch one. Childs flew for the rebound, collided with Williams, both of them down on the floor. A four-on-four -four game happening in the front court as those two make their way back. Tavanainen. No, that one was halfway down. Larry all the way in. He's fouled. Julian Larry, that's what they want. Aggressive downhill offense from their point guard. He attacked there. Let's take a look at Bradley. Well, Bradley going to the offensive glass. This time it's Mass. Little jump hook showing that he can score inside besides knocking down jump shots. I love the way this freshman plays. Larry, he just plays with a great demeanor. His tempo, you know, in the full court there, he probed the defense. They didn't pick him up, gets to the rim, gets a chance for a couple of free throws. Well, you hear great things about him. He's very receptive to all feedback. He absorbs it. He learns. He's gaining confidence every day. He's been given keys to the offense with Tobias Howard suspended for the time being, and Indiana State with Larry has taken a three-point lead. If you're Bradley, if you can get Childs and Tavaninen on the same side, you can perhaps avoid the double team. Childs holds, tries to find someone, and almost stolen away. Thomas tries to bounce one. In the lane, and a foul is called as Hannah missed the shot, but the freshman is going to go to the free throw line. Jake LaRavia called for that foul, and that's his first. Only three fouls called on Indiana State in this half. Bradley's been whistled for five fouls. Here's Darius Hannah, freshman from Milwaukee. Getting some extended playing time here in his second game. Brian Wardle has Thomas Hall, a 6'7 freshman. Connor Linky, a 6'9 freshman. Hannah is a 6'8 freshman. You can throw Mast in there. He's a redshirt freshman, 6'9. And a unique characteristic of Hannah is he misses the free throw, but Bradley maintains possession. Hannah, 6'8. An accomplished juggler. Oh, really? How about that? He's got great hand-eye coordination. Now, I can juggle three balls or three apples or oranges. Can you do three chainsaws, though? Haven't tried it, nor <laughs> will I. <laughs> There's a power move inside by Hannah. He can do that, too. And Bradley is close to within one. LaRavia. Kicks one out to Larry. Good ball handler. Floats it up and in off the window. Julian Larry for Indiana State. I think we're going to have a good time watching him in the Valley. Uh, he's going to be a terrific player. Oh, big collision inside between Thomas and Key. And Key helps up his opponent. Like to see that. Let's watch Julian Larry at work. And Larry, who is more a pass-first point guard, on occasion, he will pick his spots. A nice floater there. Inside, Childs gets the two. Elijah Childs now with seven points. Back to a one-point game. Looks like we're in for another tight game here in the Missouri Valley Conference between these two. Five in a row, won by Indiana State. Stolen away. Here comes Hannah. Getting some extended playing time here in this first half. Hannah showing a little ball handling skill. Now to Thomas. Knee stays with him. Thomas back around. A child hits the baseline. Jay short. And back for Indiana State. Bradley just can't get that lead. Key, he wants it. Key drives. He can't get it. Rebound, Childs. Good recovery by Hannah to get the block shot. Open three. Nolan missed. 
And the rebound to Nice for Indiana State. Well, we got ourselves a one-point game in the Valley. Indiana State shooting 45% for the ball game, 10 of 23. Can Key knock this down? Yes, open three, Tyree Key. And Tom, that was the first possession in about four minutes where the ball did not stick in someone's hands. Great ball movement, got Key that open look. Indiana State with a four-point advantage, 2.30 to go before halftime. I used to be bad with money, but I'm not anymore. I got my money right with SoFi. Thanks, SoFi, for helping us get our money right. Introducing new Extra Charge Coffee at Dunkin', because it's time for a little extra this year. Extra boost, extra kick, so we can get it extra done. New hot and iced Extra Charge Coffee with 20% more caffeine. Order ahead plus earn rewards. America runs on Dunkin'. Well, stay tuned for our halftime report, a presentation of State Farm. When you want the real deal, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. We're going to feature Jake LaRavia at the half. Looking forward to that. There's his Indiana State team. Cooper Neese in the middle of the screen there in the huddle. Some good offense going on here, Mr. Zavosik. Well, this is what I mean by it doesn't stick. Count the dribbles on this possession. The bounce pass doesn't count. Zero dribbles. Great movement. The ball swung side to side. Key with an excellent cut. You get an open look. And more importantly, you get things in rhythm. You know, shooters, really, it's a collaboration between the passer and the shooter. Terrific job of moving the basketball in that possession. Indiana State back on the floor. Leading scorer right now is Cooper Neese with seven points. Trey Williams has six. There's Tyree Key. He checks in with five. He's working on that 1,500-point mark for his career. So he's chasing 1,500 points. Also coming into this game, he's chasing Jake Odom. If he gets 79 more points, he would catch Jake the Snake. Greg Lansing, on the other hand, is chasing Coach Clue to be the all-time winningest coach here. Needs seven wins to top him. And now a foul on Bradley will send it back the other way. I mean, the list of scorers is really impressive. You got some great names, of course, starting with Larry Bird. And then you mentioned Jake Odom on the bench, assistant coach for this Indiana State team. Let's take a look at that foul again, the offensive foul. We'll take a peek at that. But Bradley is able to hang in this game. Despite shooting right now, only 36%. It is a four-point game. You're going to see a lot of toughness inside. There's another one, Tyreek Key. We were just talking about him. Well, Key struggled yesterday. Three for 13. He looks like he's getting untracked. Kingsby bumps, gets it out to Thomas. Puts one up, foul. In the vicinity there was Larry. Let's take a look at this Indiana State team right here. And who are you talking about again? Cooper Neese taking the charge. I love when offensive guys who get down and dirty on a defensive end. I hear you. I mean, think about it. I mean, he's like one of the all-time leading scorers in the Indiana high school history. And he's taking a charge. He's bought in. Greg Lansing is one of the great teachers of this game. And it is a huge part of the game, as important as buckets. In some cases, more. Trying to get it across the center line, and they do. Oh, it's nice when you have a 6'8 a guy who can see over the double team like Laravia. Larry, what a dish inside of Williams. Reverse layup, no. Mass was all over it. Now Williams taps it back and gets it to Larry. Let's watch Julian work. Larry in the lane, and they send it back out. Long three won't go. And it's Bradley basketball. 
Actually, a pretty good recognition by Nice. Mm -hmm. Only two seconds on a shot clock. Top of nine it. And with a minute to go here in the half, Indiana State holding a four-point lead. And a timeout is called by Greg Lansing. As ISU, with 53.9 on the clock, is going to try to go into half with some momentum. Now, remember yesterday, this game was tight. Really throughout, Indiana State expanded their lead to 10. Bradley came back, took the lead. Indiana State finished it off. Seems like we're destined for another one of those. Right now, you look at the scoring in this game, and it is spread out. I mean, not one person has taken hold just yet. All right, Tom, I got to do the obligatory announcer thing. Uh, 53 seconds. If they go quick, they got a chance for a two-for-one. I'm going to tell you right now, neither coach is thinking that. <laughs> but I had to say, because every announcer says it, got to go two-for-one. Here's the reality of it is. They're going to come out of this timeout. They got a set play that they're going to run. If they get a wide open look early, they'll take it. If not, they're just going to run their offense. They're not worrying about two for one. They yeah, just want to score. Exactly. Anyway, you can get points. If you happen to get a two for one, then you get one, right? So you don't have the right guy in the slot. Nice, nice pass. Cooper, nice ace. pass. Nice cut. Right on the Valley logo. Six point game. How does Bradley answer? Thomas with the ball. The bounce into Henry. He's met with a double team. Mast misses the three. Rebound key. And Indiana State is going to work this clock a little bit. Lansing calling out the play from the Indiana State bench. Five seconds. Baycoat. To key, long three. And that is going to be the half. Indiana State leads by six at the break, 30 to 24. State Farm halftime report is coming up. We'll check some stats, highlights, a visit with Jake LaRavia. It's all on the way. It's the Sycamores by six at all. I think the sketchy website I bought this turtle from stole all my info. Ooh. Have you looked on the bright side? <sighs> Discovery never holds you responsible for unauthorized purchases on your card. <laughs> That's my turtle. <laughs> Fraud protection. Discover something brighter. All these two for six bucks every day. Spicy buffalo. Creamy ranch. Bready bread. Two of those things for just six bucks. Arby's. We have the meat. ESPN is brought to you by Zervita. Welcome to our halftime report, a presentation of State Farm with surprisingly great rates. State Farm is the real deal. You can get personalized service from your local agent or use the State Farm mobile app when you're on the go. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. It's time to put this profile made possible by Arch Madness 2021. MVC correspondent Grant Pugh takes a look at the Sycamores, Jake LaRavia. I'm not worried about Jake. You know, he is he is as tough, as competitive as it gets. And again, his team needs him, and he knows that. Fresh off a big series against the Saluki, second-year Sycamore, Jake LaRavia is still trying to navigate through his second Missouri Valley season. Uh, at first, you know, it's a struggle having to get through all the protocols and stuff like that. Um, you know, practice, having to wear masks, uh, these connects on chips. Um, it's just something to get used to, but by the time you get used to it, you know, everything's good. LaRavia is becoming a smarter player as he learns to play with a couple of fouls on his belt. You know, as far as my, my playing uh, in the Valley right now, yeah, it's, it's very tough uh, having to sit on the bench uh, with, with foul, early foul trouble. And it's, it's something that I have to get accustomed to, um, you know, because they look for me a lot, um, you know, call foul and stuff like that. Uh, it's something I got to get better at. got to work on that in practice. Uh, start playing hands-free. It's something I'm still working on. It's hard not to have him in the game. Because he contributes on offense and defense. So really, uh, he just got to find ways to not foul as much. But, uh, I mean, we, we definitely need him at the stretch, especially in post games. The sophomore may have figured it out with a 20-point performance in the sweeping game against Southern. It's frustrating. You know, it's a combination of him and some 
some bad luck and uh, he's watched you know enough tape to, to see all the things that he's doing we're certainly a better team with them on the floor but our guys have really I mean he's been in foul trouble a lot and been sitting over there by us a lot so our guys have uh, done a good job uh, handling things without him on the floor but uh, you know it'll be, he'll be a little smarter uh, we usually always say the more aggressive player uh, gets the, the officiating reward a little bit so uh, just a combination of a lot of things. And Jake's improved play will definitely be a shot in the arm for the Sycamores during the second part of the league season. You know, now I think we're starting to get our momentum going, and, and you know, we're getting better every day of practice. We're working hard with the team. For the Valley on ESPN, I'm Grant Pugh. Grant, thank you. Today's profile made possible by the 2021 State Farm NBC Men's Basketball Tournament. The Valley's 45th Men's Championship will be at Enterprise Center in St. Louis, March 4th through the 7th. For more information, visit archmadness.com. We'll be back to Terre Haute right after this. I think the sketchy website I bought this turtle from stole all my info. Ooh. Have you looked on the bright side? <sighs> Discover never holds you responsible for unauthorized purchases on your card. <laughs> That's my turtle. <laughs> Fraud protection. Discover something brighter. Introducing new Extra Charge Coffee at Dunkin'. Because it's time for a little extra this year. Extra boost. Extra kick. So we're extra good to go. New hot and nice Extra Charge Coffee with 20% more caffeine. Order ahead plus earn rewards. America runs on Dunkin'. Back at Indiana State, the Holma Center in Terre Haute. Indiana State with a 30-24 to 24 lead. On Bradley, this is our State Farm halftime report, and let's take a look at our first highlights. It's made possible by Live by Low St. Louis. Elijah Childs gets Bradley off with the mid-range jumper, and then Cooper Nice, a three-point shooter, gets to the rim. And then we're going to see him in his specialty: get that slot, knocking down a three. Nice connecting on the three, and he has nine points on the day. How about this? Strength in traffic of mass. And then the block, the long arm of the law of Darius Hanna. But Trey Williams strong on the offensive glass. Trey Williams left the backboard shaking on that one. And you want to experience laid back luxury in the heart of downtown St. Louis, adjacent to Ballpark Village, visit live by Lowe's Hotels.com slash live by Lowe's St. Louis, Missouri. To book your hotel room today, first half stats brought to you by Zervita. And the shooting, not so good for Bradley, but right in this ball game, out-rebounding Indiana State 20-16. to They were down 6-1 in rebounds early. Well, they, they lost the rebound battle yesterday, so rebounding well, keeping it close. And the bench points in favor of the Braves over the Sycamores, 10-0. When we come back, we will have second half action. It's Indiana State and Bradley. The Holman Center in Terre Haute. Indiana State won it 60 to 57. Are we on track for another game down the stretch? Back for second half action after this. I think the sketchy website I bought this turtle from stole all my info. Ooh. Have you looked on the bright side? <sighs> Discover never holds you responsible for unauthorized purchases on your card. <laughs> That's my turtle. <laughs> Fraud protection. Discover something brighter. Introducing new Extra Charge Coffee at Dunkin'. Because it's time for a little extra this year. Extra boost. Extra kick. So we're extra good to go. New hot and nice Extra Charge Coffee with 20% more caffeine. Order ahead plus earn rewards. America runs on Dunkin'. The Valley on ESPN is brought to you by Mercy. Your life is our life's work. It's a 30 to 20 foot lead for Indiana State over Bradley. Approaching the start of the second half, Jake LaRavia and his teammates warming up and getting set for what certainly will be another physical battle. How do you withstand back to back games this physical? I guess it's what you're built to do in the Missouri Valley Conference, Coach Rich Zavosik. And with Bradley, I mean, they're playing five games in nine days, so they've got to figure out a way to lengthen their bench, give some of their starters some additional rest so that they're ready to go in the last seven or eight minutes of the game. We'll see how they come out of this first half with the shooting again, 33% for Bradley, 
44% for Indiana State. They were two of seven from beyond the arc. Bradley launched 13 threes, made three of them. And not a lot of fouls called in this game, really. Six for Bradley, five for Indiana State, three of six from the line for the Braves, two of three from the line for Indiana State. Rebounds go Bradley's way, 20 to 16. That'll make Brian Wardle very happy. Now it's time to score some buckets if they want to take over this game. There's Wardle giving out last-minute instructions to his team. Elijah Childs there, number 10, having some game on the boards. He has eight of those 20 rebounds. And he is truly the only player back of major significance Besides Henry, who developed and blossomed at the end of last year, who has been through winning the conference tournament twice. So it's a very young, inexperienced team in that respect. So they're going to have to try and figure it out as, as it goes here on the fly. And they're going to have a lot of games to make up. So they're going to have some ample opportunities. Indiana State ball to start the half. Cooper Neese leading all scorers with nine points. He's on the floor. Top of your screen has the ball now. Sharp shooter here from the state of Indiana. Tries to get it going right away. And Childs with his ninth rebound. There's Nolan. Want to get him going. 0 for 3 from the floor. Three ball missed and almost dropped in off the top of the backboard. Goes out of bounds. Going to stay here. Bradley Ball. What a strange bounce out of the hand of Jason Kent. So Bradley basketball, Kent will inbound. Mast is out there with Kingsby and Childs and Nolan. And Kent, who just gave it back to Mast. Kingsby gets it to Mast. He lost it in the lane. Key with it for Indiana State. And that one's kicked out of bounds by Nolan. Something you notice. Right there as Bradley hustles back. Indiana State, very good transition team. And, Tom, this is why Indiana State is a much better team this year. Trey Williams comes over from help side, knocks it away, creates the turnover. This may be Greg Lansing's best defensive unit, certainly in the last four or five years. Larry running the point for Indiana State. Key tried to throw it inside. LaRavia had his back turned. Well, miscommunication there, and Indiana State turns it over. Well, Tyree Key thought LaRavia was going to repost. LaRavia was going to screen away and bring another post guy over. It happens. Kingsby for Bradley. Indiana State is swarming beyond the three-point line. Here's a long three by Nolan missed. But Mast fights for the rebound. And Kingsby drives in. His layup is blocked. And are they going to count that basket? I think they are. They are. Boy, Kingsby went in hard. That ball was blocked, but they're going to say that it was on its way in. On its way down, 30-26. to 26. Can't get in. In favor of the Sycamores with the ball. Just two minutes in here in the second half. Williams against Mast. Trey Williams fires out to Larry, who hits the three. Julian Larry drops one in from the right side. Larry becomes a consistent three-point shooter. This is going to be a very tough Indiana State team to double on the post. Foul called on Trey Williams, and that's number two on Williams. He's the first player on Indiana State to have two fouls. Greg Lansing being heavy with his starters today. Williams, Larry, Key, LaRavia, and Nice have seen most of the action. Mast hits the three. Goodness. Greg Mast has hit a couple of threes here today, and Bradley is back within four. Well, Mast keeping the Braves in it. Offensive rebounds, three-pointers. Trying to draw those big guys out. Not easy to guard. 
player like that will step out and hit a three. Turn around, key, no. Offensive rebound, Williams. Nice, shot fake, travel. Nice has got to shoot that. Best time to shoot a three in transition or offensive rebound. He's wide open. When everything's kind of in disarray. Yeah, everybody's scrambling. 33-29. Here we go with another four-point game. Bradley, Childs to Mast. They've got LaRavia on him. Now Childs with Williams on him. He'll take him one-on-one. -on -one. Elijah Childs with the right hand too strong. And LaRavia comes up with it. Larry, the point guard, out there with Key and Nice, and this is LaRavia. He'll take Mast. Jake LaRavia off the glass and in. LaRavia is one of those guys, if you push him off the block, he's comfortable backing you down. Mast, could he know? And the rebound by Key. He'll try to fly down the floor. And misses the layup, goes down hard as he's fouled. Boy, Tyree Key has been a battler for many years out of the state of Tennessee, 6'2", senior guard. Let's take a look. He's basically just going to put his head down. And think about this. He's dribbling the basketball, and he outran three guys on Bradley's team and draws the foul. Key gets that one to go. Number four in the league in free throw percentage on their list with a 88.7% mark. He's fifth overall in the Valley in scoring. He is in the 1,000 point club, creep up on 1,500. Can't get that one to go. Seven-point game. Indiana State just keeps growing the lead little by little. Bradley fights right back, and that one went off of Thomas. Just relentless defense in the half court for Indiana State. You said it before, Tom. Swarming. I mean, they handle the, the ball screen, the handoff. They double. Create another turnover. Tough go here in the first four minutes. From that standpoint, see if Indiana State can capitalize. Larry, he's already hit a three. Thought about it. LaRavia against Henry. It's a nice matchup. Backs him down. Henry gets his hand on it. Out of bounds. Stays here. 15.54 to go in the ball game. Indiana State leads Bradley. 36-29 at the Holman Center in Terre Haute. Back in a moment, the Valley on ESPN. We need USAA insurance for this season. When being a fan on a budget gets tough, our agents do the legwork so saving on auto insurance is easy. USAA, what you're made of, we're made for. USAA! Free Coffee Mondays for members only. Try the smoky, dark berry notes of New Explorer Batch or the rich, bold taste of New Dunkin' Midnight. Let's get it done with a free medium hot coffee on Mondays for members only. Join on the app today. America runs on Dunkin'. Welcome back to Terre Haute, home of the Indiana State Sycamores. It's a 36-29 lead for Indiana State over Bradley. Looking forward to Arch Madness. That's for sure. Arch Madness, the 2021 State Farm Missouri Valley Conference Men's Basketball Championship. It returns to Enterprise Center March 4th through the 7th in downtown St. Louis. Local seating capacity restrictions will apply for this year's event. For more information, be sure to download the Arch Madness app or visit archmadness.com for details. Indiana State basketball up by 7. 15.54 to go in the game with Rich Savosic. I'm Tom Ackerman. Glad you're with us for the Valley on ESPN. Tyree Key gets rid of the ball, puts it in the hands of Larry. Comes up short on the shot, but he's fouled. And again, aggressive going to the bucket. You can just see him developing right before our eyes. And that's a situation where Henry's got to understand personnel. KYP, know your personnel. Larry, driver, not a three-point shooter. Close out softer, keep him in front of you. 
Julian Larry. It's an eight-point game now. The freshman guard out of Frisco, Texas. A bright future ahead of him for sure. He's knocked down three free throws today. Misses that one. But the offensive rebound for LaRavia. No, he misses it. Now Childs is in double digits. Uh, LaRavia is rebounds. slow to get up, Tom. Yeah, he's, he's hobbling back the other way as they put the bucket in for Bradley. But the problem right now is LaRavia is limping, and he's going to limp right back to the bench. We'll see exactly what happened, but they're going to take a look at him there in the hallway and maybe take him all the way back. Yep, he's going to, going to have him right there in the tunnel. I can we'll tell he may, have, he may have stepped on somebody's foot on his way down. Meanwhile, Darius Hanna scored. LaRavia is out. Kobe Barnes comes in for him. 37-31 is the score. And now a left-handed shot won't go for... Larry, but it's going to stay here off of Thomas. Let's see if we can see what happened to LaRavia here. There he is with the ball, goes into Hannah, oh. that just comes down awkwardly on that. Yeah, it's, it looks like sorry, it was ankle. Left ankle. Let's see if the athletic trainer he's favoring can his work right, his it looks magic. Like. Looks like he's favoring his right ankle as he walks into the locker rooms. I just watched him walk off. So we'll keep an eye on that. Williams spins around Childs. They're going to call it travel. Too much spinning. Six-point game, 37-31, Indiana State hanging in. By the way, I mentioned Childs on that LaRavia injury, pulled down his 10th rebound. He has four points, 10 rebounds here with a lot of basketball left. They'd love to get him scoring a little bit more. Down by six. Tavanine and put it on the deck, lost it, but went off Indiana State. So it stays here on the baseline. There's Nolan back in the game. And Mast, now the three-point specialist, who's hit a couple of them. He has the ball, got to be aware of him. Now Tavanine lets it go and hits. Tavaninen from Mast. And Bradley's within four again. Going to have ourselves a ball game in Terre Haute. Glad you're with us. Nice misses short. Who's got the rebound? Thomas does for Bradley. Tavaninen. Now to Hannah. He's going to try to take Williams. And a foul is called on Williams before the shot. Williams going to get his third foul here. We're going to see an excellent cut by Tavaninen. It's the Netherlands to Finland for two. It's the excellent job of keeping close off that handoff. So Williams is coming out of the game with three fouls. So that brings in Nango now, the 6'8 junior from New York. With three fouls on Williams. Barnes is in there defensively. There's now going up against Hannah, who scores on him. Here comes Bradley. Two-point game. Indiana State seeing double vision. Hannah, another lefty, much like Childs. Key guarded by Thomas. You can see the life in Bradley here defensively. Key puts one up. Won't go. Foul called. And to the free throw line goes Tyree Key. And you look at this lineup on the floor for Indiana State. Not a lot of basket makers. So Key is going to have to carry them. Tyree Key continues that free throw success with the make there. This Bradley team, you thought they were desperate last night. They're going to try to find a way here, but Indiana State getting some separation. Four-point game again. Thomas for the Braves to Hannah. 
Tavanainen with Miller on him. Now he gets around Miller, around now, and lost it out of bounds. It'll stay here, though, last touch by Indiana State. Terrific rotation by Kobe Barnes, knocking it loose. Barnes gave him some great minutes yesterday. And with Laravia out, he's going to be a very important factor down the stretch. That pass nearly got away from Nolan. His key has just been everywhere. Now Mast, he's having a game. Rick Mast scores for Bradley to cut it back to two. Ten huh. points for Mast, making 12 with that bucket. Talk about being everywhere. Mast. Barnes takes a three and hits Kobe Barnes for three. The sophomore comes off the bench and hits to make it a five-point game. It's only his fourth three on the year, but that is a huge three. Big shot there. Thomas over to Hannah. And now Nolan, quick pass inside, throws it down. Darius Hannah, the freshman from Milwaukee, makes it a three-point game. How does Indiana State respond to that? It's Miller. Key just inside, three hits for Indiana State. You asked, and Key delivered. Tyree Key. Now with a dozen. And Key with that basket now has 1,500 career points as Mass scores on the other side for Bradley. 1,500 points is a lot, pal. And he is 10th all time in scoring. Needs 55 to go get Eddie Bird. There's a three. Kobe Barnes. My goodness. Threes raining from Barnes. Well, Barnes, not a normal three-point shooter, as we mentioned a moment ago. But that's the one thing that LaRavia was unable to do yesterday. Knock down an open three. Barnes, a couple of them in the last minute. Whistle there, I believe, was to tell the bench to back off a little bit for Indiana State. But it stops play. Kobe Barnes knocking down threes. And Indiana State has the lead. Find the slot, set your feet, knock it down, young man. Kobe Barnes feeling it. I think the sketchy website I bought this turtle from stole all my info. Ooh. Have you looked on the bright side? <sighs> Discover never holds you responsible for unauthorized purchases on your card. <laughs> That's my turtle. <laughs> Fraud protection. Discover something brighter. All these two for six bucks every day. Spicy buffalo, creamy ranch, bready bread. Two of those things for just six bucks. All these, we have the meat. Back at Indiana State, NBC student-athletes are positively impacting the communities where they live by sharing views and fostering a climate for change for future Valley pioneers. To learn more about mobilizing Voices for Change, visit nbc-sports.com slash one valley. Holman Center, Jake LaRavia. See if he get himself loose. Hopefully everything's okay after the fall that he took, tangled up there with Elijah Childs. Most important person on that bench for Indiana State right now, their athletic trainer. Absolutely. Childs pulls up from the free throw line too strong. Bradley down by six, Indiana State trying to Expand this lead. It was around this time yesterday that they built it to 10 before watching it fall. See what they do this time around. Baycoat to Barnes and can't get the roll this time. 
Nolan pulls up. And short, Nolan coming up empty. Barnes for Indiana State. Williams against Childs. Trey Williams, no. Childs draws a crowd. Mass, look out. Can't get the three ball to go. Henry tried to grab the offensive board. It went off Miller, and it stays with Bradley. The strength of Deshaun Henry between three Indiana State players. But how about on this last possession? The defense by Tyree Keith. Terry Nolan is full speed, yet Key is able to slide his feet, doesn't reach his, keeps the ball in front, and forces a tough shot by Nolan. A deserved rest and a high five by Greg Lansing for Tyree Key. Foul is on the floor, and it's against Indiana State in a six-point game. Barnes is called for the foul, and for Kobe Barnes, it's his first foul. It's the team's third this half. Out of bounds, stays here. Another good defensive play. Trey Williams is becoming a prolific shot blocker for Indiana State, leaving his man. Good help side. It's good to see Jake Laravia back in the game. The Childs comes through on the extra chance for Bradley, and Elijah Childs with a big bucket there. They needed that. Six points, 12 rebounds for Childs. Four-point game. Turning up the heat defensively, Bradley. Baycoat with Nolan on him. LaRavia, that's a welcome sight for Indiana State back in the game. He has Childs on him. LaRavia appeared on the other side, but instead, Nice kept it and scored. That was a terrific defensive stand by Bradley, but Nice just making some rodeo shots. And now Mass to Childs again. Elijah Childs keeping this game tight at four. Yeah, how about Nice? He looks over, Laravia's open. He says, I'm just going to take this right here. Nice is feeling <laughs> it today. Cooper has 11 points. Key leads Indiana State with 12. Stepped out of bounds. Stepping out of bounds was Williams. And it's going to be Bradley basketball with 8.58 to go. Four-point game. Let's look at Cooper Nice. And we talked about Cooper Nice was just a terrific score out of high school, out of Cloverdale. And he does it in a variety of ways. Obviously knocks down a three, the mid-range jumper. And there, the little fadeaway. Bradley basketball, Elijah Childs with eight points, 12 rebounds. A double-double would be his fifth of the season and the 20th of his career. We'll see if he can get it. There he is. Still with it. Thomas lost the handle briefly. Shot clock under 10. Thomas double-team being hounded. LaRavia following him all over the place. And he goes in and has it blocked out of bounds. Williams was there. LaRavia was there. Relentless by Indiana State. LaRavia follows him the entire way. Gets beat. But when you're taller, you can make up for that mistake. So Bradley basketball got to let it go. And it's short. And a shot clock violation for Bradley. So that's a great stand by Indiana State. At the 8.27 mark, four-point ball game. Nice is on the floor with Key, Williams, and LaRavia. This is Baycoat with the ball. And Key gets hit by Henry and whistled for the foul is Jashan Henry. Henry has three fouls, and that is... The fourth foul of the half for Bradley. Three fouls have been committed on the other side. 
for Indiana State this half. Look at that bounce pass out of the reach of Williams and out of bounds. It's going to go to Bradley. 8.09 to go. Sometimes, Tom, the, the easiest play is the simplest play. Don't try and make it difficult. Tough catch. The top and nine had camped out at the top of your screen. Watch out. You don't want him to start lighting it up if you're Indiana State. He's hit a couple of threes today. They're all over him. Gets around. LaRavia was there. Offensive foul is called. Indiana State has this team a little flustered here at 7.45 to go. 49-45, Indiana State over Bradley. The Valley on ESPN from the Holman Center in Terre Haute. I think the sketchy website I bought this turtle from stole all my info. Ooh. Have you looked on the bright side? <sighs> Discover never holds you responsible for unauthorized purchases on your card. <laughs> That's my turtle. <laughs> Fraud protection. Discover something brighter. Hobbies. Two for six bucks. Every day. It doesn't get more Arby's than this. Two of those things for just six bucks. Arby's, we have the meat. Join us Saturday, February 6th for more MVC men's basketball action. The Missouri State Bears travel to Bloomington Normal. They'll take on Illinois State at Redbird Arena. Coverage begins at 2 p.m. Central. The Valley on ESPN. Tom, on this last play, terrific team defense. Watch help the helper. LaRavia in the middle prevents the pass to Elijah Childs. Trey Williams helps on the ball screen, forces the turnover. That's guys working with each other. It's not one guy helping. It's helping the helper. That guy in the middle of the lane, LaRavia, made that play happen. Indiana State up by four and gets the ball as a result of that. Under eight minutes to go. A lot of basketball left. Three-point game yesterday. Indiana State won it 60-57. to Nice. Shot clock at 10. Three. Goes down for Cam Bako. I tell you, it was like SEAL Team 6 basketball with Key in the post and no call. But Bako, just like yesterday. Tavanina to Ch Childs inside Maston. He's fouled. It's a good foul by Bako. On oh, the mismatch, Bako got the big man. Let's look at Cam Bako knocking down the triple. Gets his feet set. Not normally a three point shooter, but hit two yesterday. And another big one here this afternoon. Mass is having a good day. Free throw made for him. Makes it 15 points for Rink Mast. And a six-point contest. Chance to add to that. I tell you, hats off to this Bradley staff. You know, European recruiting, they, they pluck out some terrific players. Mast is going to be a load in this league. One player we have not seen today for Bradley is Sean East. Ari Boya is out. He's been in a boot. Hope to get the seven-footer. 7-1 seven big man back. Nice distributes three. Good! <laughs> Another three for Baycote. He's at it again. Oh, I tell you what. Greg Lansing is so happy that he's back in an Indiana State uniform. And a timeout called with a nine-point lead for Indiana State. Cam Baycoat is lighting it up. The Hampton, Virginia native for Indiana State. Nice with a dish. Deja vu all over again for Baycoat. I used to be bad with money, but I'm not anymore. I got my money right with SoFi. Thanks, SoFi, for helping us get our money right. Arby's, two for six bucks every day. It 
doesn't get more Arby's than this. Two of those things for just six bucks. Arby's, we have the meat. Well, before planning your trip to St. Louis or to follow the 2021 State Farm NBC Men's Basketball Championship, be sure to download the Arch Madness app or visit archmadness.com. Both resources have all the information you need to know about the tournament schedule, hotel accommodations, and other fun events during the tournament. Log on to archmadness.com or download the app on your phone today. How about this? Cam Baycoat has taken four threes, and it's recent. Because we've seen them all, and he's made them all <laughs> this season. Oh, four for four my. for Cam. You bet they love having him back. He's out there still, zero guarding zero. Bay code against Kingsby. Now Nolan whips it outside. Three ball doesn't go for Tavaninen. And Bradley's going to start running out of chances here. Getting to the six-minute mark. Indiana State in control by nine. Lots of time. Baycoat, they're going to have to watch him now. So many threats on this team. Laravia against Childs. And they're letting him bang inside. Indiana State's got to be careful here. That one's off the mark from Nice. There's a fine line between being patient and losing your aggressiveness offensively. Tavaninen, Childs wants the ball. And a foul is called. And it goes against Bradley. Wow. Child's call for the foul. He aggressively wanted that ball. Now he just wants an explanation. Well, I think I think the problem was is he extended his back arm and he actually caught Williams in the face. Or Laravia, I should say. You mm -hmm. see how he extended his arm? Good call by the official. So nine point lead for Indiana State. Trying to expand it, close out Bradley if they can. Key hits the three. And they're going to call that a two. Was his foot on the line? They signal to the scorer's table a two. Foot on the line for Key, 57-46. Mast backing down his defender and scoring. Boy, Mast is having a game, isn't he? Mast checking in now with 17 points. He leads all scorers today. Indiana State's got to continue to get good movement in the half court. Stay aggressive. There's Key. He's working on 14 points. Mr. 1500 puts one up. Won't fall. 1500 point club is what he's joined. Top 10 all time. Of course, that club is led by Larry Bird. Right now, it's all Indiana State here late. The key comes off the stagger screen on the baseline. He saw where the defender was. He knew he had the time to run to the wing, square up, knock down the three. If this holds, Indiana State will have won six straight games. Indiana State. Longest ever under Greg Lansing was six, ten years ago. 2010-11 in conference. Six straight conference wins. They're up by ten. Tyree Key missing that free throw. 88% free throw shooter. Very atypical. He's fourth best in the Valley in that category. As This one is swatted away. But a foul is called. So they get Larry with that foul. And that's five in the half for Indiana State. They are in the bonus. Bradley's committed seven. You know, you mentioned Tyree Key being in the top ten in scoring in Indiana State history. How about Greg Lansing has coached four of those top ten. Brenton Scott at number four. Jake Odom at number six. Jordan Barnes at number eight. Now Key at number ten. Well, Brent Scott could light it up, couldn't he? He certainly could. Jake Odom, assistant coach, just a terrific point guard, great, great player. You mentioned Jordan Barnes, who could play like crazy, great scorer. 
from St. Louis. Key in the lane. Three ball from the other side is missed by Baycoat. Good box out by Nash. Cross court dish to Henry. Mast for three. That one won't go for him. LaRavia grabs the board. I thought that was going down. I did too. The type of night that Mast has had. Would have cut it to five. Julian Larry running the show. They find Key at the free throw line. Now they get it back to Larry. Shot clock under 10. And whistle and a foul on the floor as Key was in there tied up with a host of Braves. Kingsby's getting a whistle for the foul. 58-50, 331 to go. Hang around for the finish. Brian Wardle's going to try to draw something up. See if he can knock off Indiana State. I think the sketchy website I bought this turtle from stole all my info. Ooh. Have you looked on the bright side? <sighs> Discovery never holds you responsible for unauthorized purchases on your card. <laughs> That's my turtle. <laughs> Fraud protection. Discover something brighter. All these two for six bucks every day. Spicy buffalo, creamy ranch, bready bread. Two of those things for just six bucks. Arby's, we have the meat. Back in Terre Haute, Indiana State with an eight-point lead with 3.31 to go. Players of the game, presentation of State Farm with surprisingly great rates. State Farm is the real deal. You can get personalized service from a local agent or use the State Farm mobile app when you're on the go. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Maybe a little early to call for players of the game, but not in this case. Mast and Key have been the best two players. Mast has carried them both offensively on the glass. He's done an outstanding job defensively as well. And Tyree Key has come up with some big baskets and some big free throws. And he has a chance here to expand that lead and try and finish them off here. Key is four of six from the line today. Make it five of seven, 16 points for Tyree Key. You would think that Tyree Key was born in Indiana. The way he moves without the basketball, always in motion. It kind of reminds me of Steve Alford when he played for Indiana. I'm always impressed also with Key's ability defensively and how physical he can be. As this one goes inside, Childs couldn't get it to go. But you are right about his offense. Moving without the ball is his specialty. He has that quick shot. How about that one he made that they did rule a two where they did review it? He had a hand in his face, up in the air, quick release, drains it. What I love about him this year, especially during this stretch, is he lets the offense come to him. He's not forcing the action. Larry throws it off the foot of Mass, so it'll stay here for Indiana State with 2.53 to go, and the lead is 10. Greg Lansing is going to try to finish this one off and win six games in conference for the first time in a decade. Six straight if they can hold off Bradley. <laughs> Brian Wardle is just saying, hey, I'm trying to help my team out here. That one's you know, tapped they, away by Henry. Stays here. They can't hear him through the mask, so he was just trying to get a little bit closer. The officials didn't like that. They told him to back up towards the bench. That's different for everybody, especially for those coaches. Key let it go before the shot clock expired, though, and it, that wouldn't have counted. So, Ten-point game, last chance here for Bradley. They are in must-score territory. Nolan in front of the Bradley bench. Mast goes inside a Childs. Three Sycamores around him. He's in the forest. He turns around, can't get it to go. Mast tries to keep it alive. Larry does and gets it to Nice. Back to Larry. Indiana State defense has just made it very tough on Elijah Childs the last two days. There's 
There's Key. Oh, got around Tavanainen. Now here he goes again. Little jab step. Shot goes down for Tyreek Key. That's a two also. Sycamore is by a dozen under two minutes. Nolan will take a three. Up in the air. Who's got it? Larry again. Little Jill guy on the floor. <laughs> Had the big rebound to close out yesterday. He has five rebounds today. Julian Larry, eight points, five boards. And what are they? Did Merlin Olson used to say is key three point? Oh, Trey Williams, smart play. Back it out. Clock is your friend. We're talking about Julian Larry, the smallest guy. It's not the size of the dog in the fight, the size of the fight in the dog. And that's what <laughs> Julian Larry has. There's Nice inside for Trey Williams. Indiana State feeling it. 64-50 nearing the one-minute mark. Childs corrals it. Goes one-on-one -on -one with LaRavia and scores. Count the basket. Elijah Childs is going to the free-throw line. And there's that double-double for Childs. That's the fifth time this season he's reached double figures in points and rebounds. 20 time in his career. Kobe Barnes comes into the game. So does Hannah and Kingsby for Bradley, replacing Mast and Tavaninen. Tom, barring an offensive explosion in the last minute of this game, Indiana State is going to hold its opponent under 63, which is their magic number. That will move them to 109 and 11 when they hold their opponents under 63 with Greg Lansing at the helm. Well, how about this one? They're 25 and 0 when they hold them to 53 or less. And that's the magic number as we stand at the very moment with Bradley. You just don't beat this Indiana State team when they keep it low scoring. And now a whistle and Indiana State to the free throw line is Kobe Barnes and the ninth team foul on Bradley with 54.2 on the clock. And we've talked about this now for two games in a row about the team defensive effort of Indiana State. You know, through the years, Indiana State has had some very good individual defensive players, but this group is all playing on a string. They do an excellent job of helping on the ball screen. The guy who's helping the helper is in the right spot. This team is going to be a very tough out here in the next month and into Arch Madness. Well, this being the first Valley game of the day, you can be sure that the league was watching and paying attention. And they will be taking notice of this Indiana State team about to go 7-5 and five in league play. Nolan, the dish, Kingsby, too far. Put back is good by Tavaninen. And there's your 53 is gone, 66-55. 46.1 on the clock. So Drake enters the top 25 today. AP top 25 for them and the coaches poll. They check in at 25. Loyola, it seems like. Just a matter of time. I mentioned the games today. Let's take a peek at what we have in store today. So this was the first. And then you have Illinois State and Drake after yesterday's craziness. What else are you looking at today? Loyola, Loyola and Missouri State. Will it be another lopsided affair or can the Bears storm back? And I would be surprised if the Bears don't storm back. I don't know if they can beat a Loyola team that's playing as well as anybody in the country. And then Valparaiso and Evansville, you know, we'd be remiss in not mentioning the job that Todd Licklider has done in his first full year. Totally he's, agree. He's got Evansville at five and four in the league and really playing very good basketball. Child six and three won't go long rebound to Kingsby. And he'll pop one, misses it. LaRavia kept it alive, just kind of bounced it up in the air. 
And here is Indiana State with the closeout. And how about the tail of the tape for Bradley? Four of 23 from the three this evening. And here in Terre Haute for two days, seven of 39. So they're going to have to get back to the drawing board and start making some threes. And Brian Wardle will get it done. 67-55, Indiana State beats Bradley. It's six in a row, a half dozen straight for Greg Lansing and the Sycamores. Their seventh conference win, a series sweep against the Braves. And here in Terre Haute, Indiana State victorious over Bradley. The Valley on ESPN. It's been great to have you along with us. We're excited to continue. We certainly will have a whole bunch of basketball to come. We have some great hoops on the way. And with Rich Zavosik, I'm Tom Ackerman. We've had some fun bringing the game to you. We're going to have a game coming up and much more to come from the Valley on ESPN. We're glad that you're with us for all of our action. So long from Terre Haute. It's a final 67-55 all game on the ESPN Networks. Streaming live archive the ESPN app. Thanks for watching tonight's contest. This has been a presentation of ESPN.